Hello uh, and welcome to this uh, flash webinar session dedicated to the, the SVP drifting buoy range uh, uh, in NKE. Uh, so I will introduce to you the, the, um, all the range of product and, and from the basic to the new application one. So as you can see, the range of drifting buoy is composed mainly of three versions. Uh, the first and basic version is the SC40 uh, IG for sea surface current studies and, and oil spill uh, trajectories. Then the two other boys are, uh, first of all, they are DBCP compliant and they offer um, additional measurements. So uh, the SC40 IG, so uh, for the basic uh, version, so this is a, a drifting buoy that transmits all the data uh, using the Iridium SBD uh, satellite system, uh, including a GPS positioning. Uh, so the buoy is uh, um, um, mainly used to, to, as I said previously, to, to monitor the sea surface uh, uh, currents uh, and all speed trajectories. Um, so you can equip it with uh, alkaline or lithium batteries. And uh, uh, this, the buoy is also um, uh, equipped with an SST sensor, an analog SST sensor, uh, and, the, and, the, and it can be dragged to various uh, lengths, uh, including a, a range of 15 to 75 meter depth. So this is uh, the, um, uh, the basic offer. Uh, so using also a, a very robust, uh, uh, extremely robust housing that has been used uh, uh, for other applications uh, with uh, several thousands of units, so uh, a very robust uh, system. Uh, but uh, this version uh, is not yet uh, able to offer the, the, the DBCP uh, compliancy. So to complete this uh, basic, basic, basic version, we have recently introduced modification to this uh, initial design. Now, to talk about uh, new application, let's talk about the Trusted Project. So, the Copernicus-funded Trusted Project aims to provide fiducial reference measurement for the calibration of the temperature radiometer of the Sentinel-3 satellite constellation. In the framework of the project, uh, a new type of surface drifter, the SVP BRST, was developed. So, the drifters are drawn at 15 meters, and carry two temperature sensors, a standard uh, SST sensor and one high resolution SST called the HR SST sensor, coupled to a hydrostatic pressure sensor with a sampling frequency of one hertz. Uh, buoy embeds also a barometer, a strain gauge uh, uh, and an iridium modem to send back uh, observation data in near real time. Each component of the buoy as well as the buoys uh, were, were tested to ensure that the new buoy meet the standards defined by the DBCP, by the, the Data Buoy Cooperation Panel. Then, a, a strong part of the project uh, was metrology testing to ensure that the new instrument, namely the HR SST sensor, is tested and calibrated with full traceability to the international system, that is to say, to the international temperature standards with a determined uncertainty. This means extensive calibration and verification of the HRSST sensor both inside and outside the buoys over a temperature range of 1 to 35 degrees within the international system certified Schaum Metrology Lab uh, located in France, in Brest. Then, um, results from the metrology uh, exceeded the project scope of work with an expanded uncertainty below the 0.05 uh, degrees Celsius threshold. Following the successful deployment of two prototypes in the Mediterranean Sea, a production of 100 units was approved and very recently uh, another batch of, uh, of 50 units was ordered by UMEDSAT. So six partners have prepared jointly an answer to this requirement from UMEDSAT uh, with defined and various role for each. So CLS was in charge of project management and data transmission. And King's Foundation was in charge of design and, and buoys manufacture. Meteo France uh, was dealing with the, the, the deployment. 
The SHOM obviously was in charge of metrological control and calibration. Uh, GCOMOPS was in charge of metadata. And the BSH uh, was in charge of testing BUOY by comparison with the MOVE system. So, as I said previously, the goal of this project is to provide reference measurement for satellite measurement validation for, from the Sentinel-3 uh, uh, satellite uh, constellation. So, as we talk about SST, uh, we can see here that SST includes several kinds of measurements depending on pressure uh, from a range of, uh, uh, from the interface between the sea and the air up to 10 meter depth. So these drifting buoys can provide richful information to confirm, to confirm uh, satellite measurement and also additional information about uh, surface mixing layer according to uh, day and night cycle and according to uh, sea state condition. And, and, uh, and you can see through the, the, the variability of the, of the measurements uh, you can confirm something that is well known by uh, oceanographer is the, 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 the cycle between the, the day and night and, and, and depending on wave state. Uh, so the more mixed uh, the weather, uh, the, the, the seawater is in, uh, in surface and uh, the less variability you can observe. So regarding the DBCP program, so I will not detail here what is the DBCP program and you can find all information on OceanOps website, so previously called the GCOMOPS. But the main goal uh, is to improve global forecast of weather and ocean condition. This worldwide community uh, has established a design recommendation and the new SVPB BRST buoy from NKE is fully compliant with all these recommendations. So now, if we talk about the, the development uh, of the buoy to comply with the DP, DBCP recommendation, the NKE SC40 buoy has been modified with addition of uh, barometric measurement, with the modification of uh, uh, drug loss detection through uh, a strain gauge instead of uh, a submergence contact uh, on the SC40 IG, and obviously with the addition of an HR SST sensor coming from the NKE range of sensor. This sensor was named the Ysense TD. So you can see here the, the basic specification from this, from this sensor, uh, that is a, a lightweight instrument um, uh, used in a, a wide range of uh, other applications, and that have been adapted to fit in the buoy housing and to be uh, um, easily dismounted, and we will see uh, later why. A view now on the, on the buoy integration. So we can notice all classical components of an uh, SVPB buoy. So the, the SST sensor, the barometer intake, and the drug attachment, including strain gauge, to, to detect if the drug is still attached to the buoy or not. Um, uh, then we can also see the, the new HR SST sensor, so protected by a small cap to reduce uh, the, on the, you see on the, on the buoy on the, on the bottom part on the left side, so to reduce the solar radiation influence. And now, since the third uh, batch uh, manufactured, by an additional mechanical protection to avoid the, the drug line to damage temperature sensor uh, with the effect of, uh, of high waves. So we can see now the HR SST sensor um, that it has been designed to be easily removed from the buoy. And this is made to, to, to enable external calibration. So for one single sensor or better by a batch for two batch for, to make cross comparison. So the sensor is very easy to calibrate or post calibrate if buoys can be recovered. And this, this design will open a new field of application as uh, a different variable uh, could be acquired and add it to the buoy. So a, a few words about the, um, the metrology that is uh, highly important in this project. Uh, the calibration and verification job was done by the SHOM, so the French uh, uh, certified uh, laboratory uh, uh, in the international system. So with a two-step approach, calibration of the, all the sensor, of the 150 sensor, and verification of sensor once they are integrated in the buoy. 
This has enabled to demonstrate that the buoy has no influence on sensor quality and, and we remain below the, the requested uh, uncertainty once the sensor is mounted on buoy. Uh, and the work of Sherman and KE uh, within this project uh, has been awarded during the Metro C Congress, but I will give you uh, reference later in, in this presentation. So the, the third batch of buoy delivered has shown um, during the calibration uh, excellent meteorological performance with uh, um, an expanded uh, uncertainty below 0 0.0026 degrees Celsius. So it's uh, clearly uh, uh, far from the requirement and it's uh, uh, um, uh, probably uh, illustrating that the, the, the know-how and the knowledge of NKE to manufacture this combination is uh, increasing. So the buoy verification has also shown that um, expanded uncertainties errors are far less to the, to the, to the required uh, of plus or minus 0.05 uh, degrees Celsius and confirm uh, as well the increasing performance during the, um, the manufacture process. And to continue to illustrate the performance at sea, we can see now the results of verification of one buoy uh, that was moored for approximately one year. And the results show a, a very limited drift with a level of 10 times less than uh, uh, the UMEDSAT specification. So it means clearly uh, uh, the sensor behaves well and, and behaves well also for, for a, a long period, uh, after one year, it's still, the performance is still uh, uh, very good. Then, uh, once the buoy have been manufactured uh, with a sensor calibration and buoys verification, so uh, today 95 units have already been deployed and the remaining uh, 55 uh, buoys will be deployed in 2021. So we can see here a few pictures of, uh, of deployment. So here uh, a focus on the deployment made in 2019. So mainly uh, made by a scientific vessel, but the buoy uh, has been designed to be deployed by non-expert user uh, or non-expert vessel. So as, as recommended by the DBCP program with, for example, uh, use of commercial vessel, sailing boat, and many other types of ships. So now we can see all um, the active buoys delivered at first and, and second batch uh, that, are, that have been uh, deployed. So in a, in a wide range of, uh, of area and, and, uh, and water masses. So obviously within this project, several publications have been done. One in Frontiers, one in ocean science, and one paper uh, was awarded uh, during the Meteorological Congress. So you can find also uh, information about the project itself on the UMEDSAT website. Uh, several presentations have also been, uh, been done during uh, um, several congress of our, our workshop, uh, such as the DBCP, uh, S3VT, uh, so and very soon, in, in March, a virtual workshop will be organized uh, around the HR SST measurement. So we can see some pictures from the publication in Ocean Science from Paul Poli uh, and all, relative to Genesis development and initial results of the SVP BRST performance. Uh, another publication from Mark Lemen and all, uh, relative to the meteorological aspect of the project. So you will be able to find all the link, uh, the, the, just to say the, the, all the reference will be uh, um, easy to recover as the, the presentation will be available on the, on the NKE website. <laughs> and last, a paper from Mark Lemen and, and all awarded during the Metro C Congress. So all these publications showed the work done by all the partners and UMEDSA to provide high quality data and to succeed to fit in with the initial uh, requirements. Uh, some publication and result presentation will continue to be, to be done and to, to, 
given uh, as a sub batch of 50 bog. Um, as I previously said, I still show some improved performance regarding the metrology and probably in linked with the uh, um, knowledge and know-how increase in manufacture and testing processes. So clearly, this project in parallel of initial goal has enabled NKE to finalize the design of a DBCP compliant buoy with the possibility to offer additional high resolution, high resolution measurement as the range of sensor in NKE is much larger than temperature and depth. And the perfect Example to illustrate this is a version called the SVP BSC that is based on the SVP BRST buoy design, but that is equipped with a Ysense CT sensor to make conductivity and temperature measurement. Obviously, the buoy is strictly identical to the SVP BRST version and offers a full compliance with the DBCP program, but with the added value of high quality measurement for several uh, additional parameters. Uh, and this will conclude the presentation to illustrate uh, the, new the new possible application. Uh, and, 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 and we could also uh, still uh, include uh, additional variables depending on your scientific uh, uh, need and requirement. So I hope the presentation has been clear enough to introduce the NKE drifting buoys range. And obviously, I remain at your disposal to answer the question uh, you may have uh, now or later. Thank you.